Uh, this is here how to install a library SVM on MATLAB. So what you do is that you go to the website and you download the zip, fi the zip file for the library, and you can find it. If you can find it here in uh, MATLAB and Octave, uh, you go to the download page and you download the zip file right there. Uh, after that, you get this this zip file which, which contains this folder libsvm 3.17, and the, fo the folder contains these files. So you go to the section on MATLAB and you have to run the make file. But first, uh, before that, you have to compile uh, the uh, compile the uh, the library. And uh, the way you do that is you have to install the mac. Uh, you have to type in the workspace max dash setup set up right there and you execute it. Um, after that, yeah, you have to choose uh, to locate a compiler in your, in your computer. Okay, here we go. So here, what you have is two. Uh, you have two compilers. You have the LCC Win32, and I have uh, the Microsoft Visual C++ 2090 Express. Uh, the thing is, and uh, what creates the most problem is that people just go to compile the file with uh, the LCC32, but this compiler does not uh, is not uh, applicable to uh, the C++ files. Uh, it only works with the with the C files. So what you have to do is that download the Microsoft Visual C++, C++ 2008, and how you do that? You go to and it is this one here, Visual Studio Express 2012 or 2008. Uh, before you have to, before you're gonna download uh, which uh, Visual Studio, you have to know which uh, you know which versions, uh, which version of MATLAB you're working with. Uh, here I'm working with uh, the R 2010A. So I went to MATWORKS and I have seen the supported compilers. And of course, uh, as you can see here, I have a uh, MATLAB compi compiler, and uh, the Win32. I don't know. I I, I think I, I think uh, they overlook it because this is only for C, if not C++. So what you do is just go download one of the other. So I downloaded this one, Microsoft Visual C++ 2008, and it works perfectly. But uh, after you, insta you install it, this one, and I'm really saying this one with SDK. Uh, I, I think uh, 7.1. So Mat MATLAB can recognize it. Otherwise, when you start, uh, you, you let MATLAB to see what compilers you have, it, it will not be shown here. So you have to install this version, Visual Studio Express 2008, uh, not 2012 as, as shown here, but 2008. I already lost uh, the link for it, but a simple Google search will uh, lead you directly to the download page. Uh, anyway, so uh, as I told you, you can see here in the uh, the compiler that is compatible with my version of MATLAB is uh, the 2008 one. After you've done that, uh, you install it and you relaunch MATLAB, you, it will be shown here. So what I do is just choose the compiler number two, right there you go, and it has the default yeah, Visual Studio 0.9, yes it is, that directory that I have already installed the, the compiler in, and here we go. And then what you do is that you type make. And what it does, uh, it did, uh, I only ran the, uh, the, the, the M file, so uh, it created the. Uh, ah, okay, CCP not found. What's wrong here? Yeah, uh, okay, Th this is a common problem. And I solved it, I guess, by. Um, just, just bear with me here a little bit. I'm just gonna go to the other SVM, but okay. Make. And here we go. Ah, it's the same one. Alright. Oh no, yeah, yeah. Uh, I didn't change the directory. Okay. Okay, change directory. Okay, cool. So I have here my work folder. So I'm gonna run it again. Or oh, is it it is busy? Okay, yeah, yeah, it's working out. Okay, there you go. So I have the library read max windows 32, the second uh, second file here and third file here, and it's working perfectly. Okay, I'm just gonna show you again because uh, it kind of kind of got mixed up. I type make and it is going to be the only problem that you will have is yeah. Okay, and it's happy and it's working. So if you can see, uh, I have the the function here as predict, which as the predict. And 
as you can see it is shown that it's actually it's not the MATLAB version of DSVM Predict it's actually the library SVM that we have already downloaded uh, I hope uh, the video was helpful for you if you have any questions or you think that I should record the video again uh, with no I don't know misunderstanding or anything uh, give me a message or a heads up thank you